guys. Just come over here and talk to me. money and he's always right it's, it's my money too and it's not only that like I get up early before him to get his lunch ready for work you know I get the kids bath take them to school and then he gets home after work after I've done the washing the dishes and everything and he's like oh where's dinner and where's this and where's that and he's like oh why aren't the kids Monday yet and it's it's like all the pressures on me and I work too you know I am tired from work as well yeah, I understand where you come from. Yeah, I suppose that we been there, like we've been through that kind of situation before. Right? But we have to remember in Islam, before the girl get, gets married, like, you know, before the girl gets married, um, that girl, all the dosa and all the things that she's done, who is responsible? But her dad. But when she's married, the person responsible for that girl is the husband. So that's all we have to remember. Our husband is our line to get Ola and Russell. So we have to you know, accept him and accept him as the leader of our household. So any final decision, we have to accept that is what's best for us. And I know it's hard every day. But you do it every day, you will, you will come across uh, problems, but that is that uh, those problems come to you because Allah loves you and Allah wants you to return back to Him and and ask from Him whatever you'd like. It's not your husband but Allah wants Him to return back to you. So that's what we have to remember. I myself, I keep have to remind myself when Allah gives me those trials because I myself as a humble servant always tends to forget and Led and gets to lead back to our nafsu and shaitan that will always come and attack us and we won't understand and we'll just follow them. I know about nafsu and you know all that stuff but it should be equal you know like I'm working as well I'm providing for the family it's not just him and it's like you know he still bosses me around and thinks that he has this right to you know 
We're equal in this relationship, not just him. Yeah, okay. I understand. You know, you get, we as wives get frustrated. But we have to remember that we as a woman has nine nafsu inside of us that is always raging to be out. You know, we want to be the only one. We want to be in charge, we want to be the only one he loves. But the thing is, our husband is also a leader. He leads us and our, and our kids to be, um, you know, to lead us to Allah and Rasul, to God and the Prophet. We have to remember, you know, when it, when it was the era of Rasulullah, Rasulullah's daughter, Sayyidina, Sayyidatina Fatima, she had it, she had it. Uh, she, she had a hard life as well, you know. And Rasulullah taught her uh, she would become the first uh, the first female, the first woman to enter paradise. And then uh, Rasulullah said, but before she enters paradise, there will be another woman enter before her. So Sayyidina so you know, uh, Fatima was surprised and said, oh, really? Who is this woman? So Sadina Fatima actually went out to seek her. What is what is what is so special about her that she gets to enter before Sadina Fatima? So Sadina Fatima went to house, went to um, found the uh, found the woman, went to house, and knocked on the door and asked her uh, to come in. Like she wants to know what's so special about her. What does she do? Does she do extra, um, extra ibadah? You know, does she does she pray differently? And then when she went to see the woman, the woman said, oh, "I'm sorry, um, I do not have, I haven't asked my permission from my husband for you to enter into our house. So can you come back tomorrow so so I can so I can ask permission from my husband for you to come for you to come in." And so the next day, so that so that I went to see her again, to her house. And by this time she bring her two sons, Hassan and Hussein. And so when she knocked on the door, um, the lady opened it and, and said, Oh, I'm sorry, I've only asked um, my husband permission to let you in and you alone. I did not ask for, for permission for you, you and your kids. So you have to come back again tomorrow so I can ask permission from him to actually for your heart, for your kids and you to enter my house. So the lady asks Sayyidatina Fatima to come again the next day so she can ask permission for her husband for Sayyidatina Fatima and her sons to come to her house. So the next day um, Sayyidatina Fatima came to the lady's house and she, she went into the house, everything was okay. And then while they were talking, having a conversation, um, all of a sudden the lady uh, went up and said, oh, I'm sorry, but my husband is coming. He should be on his way home. So I'm just going to prepare for his arrival, for his coming back from home, uh, coming back from work. So Sayyidat Ina Fatima just sat there and looked to at this lady as she prepared herself in welcoming her husband home. So she looked at her, um, getting a tray, put a, put a glass of water, um, put on the tray and also a stick and then she prepared herself and she made herself look pretty. Like she wore, um, you know, she put makeup on, she had her hair down and she had like, a sexy um, dress on. So when her husband knocked on the door, and that's how she was. She welcomed him in that appearance. So after um, Sayyidatina Fatima witnessed all this, she asked the lady, why do, you, why do you welcome your husband in such a manner? Why do you, you know, dress up? Why do you pour him a glass of water? Or why do you put a stick on the tray? What, are, what is the purpose of that? So the lady asked, to Sayyidatina Fatima. The glass of water is for him when he comes home. If he's thirsty, he does not have to ask. The water is already there. 
And the thing is, therefore, if he comes home and he finds that he is not, he is disappointed of me or doesn't approve of something that he has, that I have done while he's away, then the thing is there for him to punish me. And then I dress in a way that is attractive and appealing to him, so that when he when he comes home and he feels like uh, he, that he wants me to pleasure him in a way to satisfy his needs, then I am ready. So from that story we can tell by the lady why she is put in front of Sayyidatina Fatima to enter paradise first is because it's how she was obedient to husband, how she has to ask his, even to ask, even to get permission for someone to enter her house three times. You know, if it was us, we'd be just like, yeah, yeah come here, come here, you know, my husband's not home, you know. But with, with, the late, uh, with the lady, she was so loyal and so obedient to his wife, to her husband, that she was afraid to, uh, to actually um, go against his rules. So, as we can see from that story, that, that lady, that, you know, that, that wife, so she was doing it as an everyday ritual to welcome her husband home. And we have to understand, no matter how tired, how sick we are, that's our strive to, uh, that's our strive with this world and this heart. That's our strive, that's our job to be resolved, to be a wife that is similar to our husband. Because if, even if we're so sick, we do it, but we die doing that, serving our husband as much as, and as pleasurable as we can, yeah, we can die of shame. So that's, that's, that should be our goal in our relationship to our husband, to striving to be the best wife that is solid hard to be our husband. We tell each other every day these stories, but we, as we, we must, you know, give, uh, give each other strength and um, some motivation, yeah, motivation, so we should give each other strength and motivation so that we can truly strive for all that and in this struggle. In this struggle. Thanks so much guys, like you really just opened my mind. I know like I was overreacting and like you know it's all of this is from my own weakness. Like that's inside me. You know, I'm sometimes you know I don't get up and sing like Malam and I don't ask for forgiveness enough. It's it's coming from inside me. It's it's not his fault but my own. You know? Thanks you guys, this really meant a lot to me, you know. I wanna take this home and use it. Special date. I can't wait. Wow. Okay. 